In our earlier examples of comparing different versions against one another, we just conveniently had those old working versions sitting around. In that case, we manually saved off old versions under different file names. I personally used to do this all the time with school essays, math papers in LaTeX, and so on. This is one very primitive form of version control. How else might you get old versions of your files? It's likely that you've actually interacted with some systems that do some form of version control for you. Have you ever used Dropbox? Dropbox actually periodically saves versions of your files. After you've edited a file, you can right-click and choose View Previous Versions. And then in the browser, you can check some of the old versions. Note that by default, Dropbox only saves these versions for 30 days. Do you use Google Docs? There's a little link up at the top that says, All Changes Saved in Drive. If you click on that, you get a side panel of all the old revisions made by anyone who's ever worked on the doc, and you can restore to any point in time. What about Wikipedia? If you go to any Wikipedia article, say maybe the one on version control, you'll see a View History tab that you can click on to see all the old versions. You can click through to see an entire old version, or you can compare any two versions against one another. Let's take some time now for another reflection.